Hey guys, here are my predictions for AQA Physics Paper 2. Now, you've seen these videos before, you know exactly what I'm going to say next. I am not an examiner. I do not know 100% for certain what is going to come up in the exam, so please revise everything um again you've probably got this by now or at least i hope you have by now because this is the last exam the whole time of videos and the revision guide with the checklist will really really help you do this you should know by now that 15 percent of your exams is based on the practicals so in this topic we're talking about waves practicals we're talking about acceleration practicals and we're talking about elastic energy practicals we also know that 30 percent is mass now if you had a little bit of a shock in your last physics exam please don't give yourself a shock in this physics exam you have to learn your equations and your units i've done flashcards i've done videos for you but you have to have to have to learn them for the exam they will not give you all of the equations and if you don't know the equations you can get a little bit stuck I mean, if you don't know the equations, just times two numbers by together and see what happens because the majority of time that is actually the answer. So working an equation would be nice, but if you can't remember the equations, just try times two numbers together and see what happens. There are a few things that are new to the specification which I think are likely to come up um, as exam questions. So we're talking about Fleming's left hand rule. So doing this with your hand in the exam, contorting it around, it actually the best thing for you to do is to actually do this and if I see students not doing this in a test where I know they should be doing it then I know they're not going to get the question right. So please do this with your hand in the exam. Leading on from that we're talking about magnets, electromagnets and moving coil loudspeakers. These are all quite complex big topics so this could feature really heavily in the exam. There are a few things that are always 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 in the exams so it is worth studying these really really well. Now, now, some of these may come up but maybe not all of them so we're talking about distance time and velocity time graphs they look so so similar i've seen so many students tripped up because they haven't read the axis properly if you see a graph first thing you need to do is to look at the axis work out whether it's distance time or velocity time graph newton's laws come up loads and loads either as short questions or as really really long questions like um what is going to happen in this situation or what's going to happen in this situation so it could be quite a big application question this. Curl safety is another one that comes up and whenever you see something like that try and link it back to the equations because basically everything in physics is all about the equations. Then at the waves topic transverse and longitudinal waves either one of them generally comes up the entire time and electromagnetic waves is always a standard favourite that comes up every other year or so. It's hard to say whether it's going to come up this year because we don't have last year's paper because there wasn't a paper last year. But it's one of the things that comes up on a regular, regular, regular basis. That is the end of the combined science section. So after this, guys, what I want you to do is go and watch the whole topic video, use the checklist in the revision guide, make sure you've covered absolutely everything. Because other things, apart from the stuff that I've mentioned in here, may or may not come up in the exam. So please revise absolutely everything everything then if you want to get a really like high grade you can try the booster questions seven eight nine um the really, really hard questions that i've put in the playlist after this um if you have any questions good luck i'm with you every single step of the way those separate science people who are still here, we need to talk about what is going to be extra on your exam. There is some really complicated maths that is extra in the separate science. And it's complicated because it involves the application of a little bit of logic. So we're talking about things like um, balanced moments, conservation of energy. Converging and diverging lenses are standard ones that come up you know two out of three years because drawing ray diagrams for these is really really a, a technical skill and this is exactly what they're looking for for people that have chosen separate science and want to get a high grade p and s waves are new to specifications so they might see how well your teachers taught those and then space is a whole separate topic that only comes up for separate science and the questions they like asking here are things about redshift things about blue shifts giving you some graphs to interpret um asking about the evidence for the origin of the universe so like i just said to the people that have left good luck guys i'm going to hear with you every single step of the way ouch this is why in some videos i have unexplained scratches